This video is the best way to recover a file in 5M screen sharing and the best way to discover DMAs. In this video, we're going to be using my free SS guide, which is the first link down in the description. Now, step number five, after you've got all of the executed and deleted files, you're going to want to recover these files from their PC. Distro is by far the best program that you can use. There's also Recover or previous file recovery. However, the most up-to-date one is Distro. Now, what you're going to want to do is just go to the Distro link, go ahead and it will automatically download once you visited this site. Once you've downloaded it, then you want to go ahead and open up distro on your computer. Once it opens, you're going to see all the computer drives. You're going to want to click on whichever drive the file path is from. In this case, the C drive, we're going to click on the C drive. We're going to go ahead and search for lost data. Now we're just going to wait for it to run for around five minutes. So then it gets the majority of files and then we can search up for our lost files. Now you guys can use the top right search bar to search for files and you can also take a look through the file discovery to find the files. Once you find a file you want to recover, you're going to select it, click recover, click save all files in one folder or you can choose a file destination you'd like to save it in. Say for example, want to click Adobe, select folder, yes, next, yes, and recover. And now that one's now been recovered, you can show the data in Explorer, click on it, and then you can see your file. And now you'll be able to run analysis on this file by dragging and dropping it into VirusTotal, like I showed you in the last video, checking out the IP configurations, IP traffic, and the previous names. Now, onto step number six, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to search with DMAs. Majority of DMAs have flashed firmware, which means the DMA card is disguised as something else. So the best way to find this is just by asking the user to take a photo of their computer and here there are two clear photos where you guys can see what you need to be looking for so this is one with a dma card and this is one without a dma card and make sure you guys know what dma cards look like by searching them up on google and making sure you have a good imprinted vision on what they look like as each dma card may look different there are some other methods using the vid and pid however i personally think these methods are not accurate as sometimes they will have flashed firmware and spoof the vid and pids are actual normal firmware devices so the best way is just getting them to take a photo. If you guys want to know more about DMAs, there's going to be the second link in the description. It's going to show you guys everything you need to know about DMA cheating in all games like Fortnite, Valorant, and then 5M GTA. Right, guys, that is it for step number six and seven of my free guide. And as always, purchase the tech down in the third link in the description. The best screen share tool on the market that automates all of these methods. And I hope you guys have a great day.